What's up, everyone? Happy Ascension Day to each one of you. This is Thursday, about 40 days after Easter, and the Bible tells us that Jesus was with his disciples for 40 days and appearing to all kinds of people and occasionally going to a fish fry. So he was around for 40 days in the flesh, and that changed on Ascension Day. The Bible tells us in Acts chapter 1 that he was taken from them. Now, the usual picture we have is of him sort of ascending into heaven like a balloon. Now, I know you're not supposed to let balloons go, those helium balloons, because they can cause litter in other places. But aren't we tempted sometimes just to let it go and just watch it fly and, and see where it goes? Well, think about those balloons. And I know you've probably let one go before. Think about that heading up. That's one of the pictures we have of this, but that's really not what happened. The Bible tells us something a lot deeper. It's not like heaven is at a higher altitude. You know, Jesus is going 10,000 feet, 20,000, 30,000. Now he needs oxygen, 40,000, get him a spacesuit. Not one of those things at all. It's not like he was going into orbit like a SpaceX rocket. No, Jesus, the Bible tells us, three things happened. One is that he went into the cloud. Now, we think of clouds as being up in the sky, but that's not what the ancient Jews thought of when they thought of clouds. Of course, there's clouds in the sky, but the cloud, the Shekinah, was the symbol of God's presence. It filled the temple when Solomon completed the temple and asked for the Lord's blessing. The cloud just filled the place. The cloud would occasionally fill the tabernacle during the 40 days in the wilderness. And the Israelites were led by that cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. And this cloud is sort of a, a more than symbolic. It is an illustration of how we feel when we are in the manifest presence of God. During the transfiguration of Jesus, there's a, there's a recollection by the disciples that they are in the cloud there with Moses and with Elijah. And so this cloud is called the Shekinah, the glory of God. And you've probably experienced it from time to time. Probably not something you can take a picture of, but in the spiritual sense, you sensed a, a cloud of God's presence around you during very special times. So think hard about that and try to remember that and ask others if they've experienced the Shekinah, the cloud of God's presence. And the second thing it says is that he was taken into heaven. And the word heaven doesn't necessarily mean up in the sky. Heaven is just a, an illustration, Shemayim in Hebrew means the sparkling on top of the water, the way the sun dances across the ripples in the water, especially early in the morning and uh, late at night around sunset. And that sort of sparkly look is, is what we're talking about here. It's, it's that hard to, hard to describe presence that's around us. And they used Shemayim as the term for the heavenly realm, which is the source of the physical realm, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, that kind of thing. And the Father, the source of all things, dwells not in this creation, but outside of the creation in Shemayim. So he was taken into the cloud, into Shemayim, and it didn't have to go upwards to do that. My sense is the cloud enveloped him in a way he went. And then there were two angels there, dressed in white. And what's that a symbol of? That's a symbol of the two creatures above the tabernacle hood, and we call that the mercy seats. That is what all Jewish people saw as the very manifest presence of the Creator. And anytime you've got uh, two angels showing up like this, uh, you can almost picture them on top of the tabernacle uh, covering that empty spot, which symbolizes the presence of the Lord. So he returned into, he returned to the spiritual realm and he dwelt there. And the Bible tells us he's going to re return the same way that, uh, that uh, he left and that he's going to do so in a cloud. That doesn't mean Jesus is going to be coming down in a cloud uh, from on high to pick us up and snatch us and go to heaven. No, uh, that's not the point. Jesus is going to appear in a cloud, but it might well be, probably will be at ground level, and he'll appear into this creation just the same way he went, and he comes to rule, not to take us away from a failed project, because God is not going to fail with his creation. When God comes to rule, he comes to rule, not to uh, 
help us escape from this, this horrible place. For the Bible says God so loved the world, and the Bible ends with a new heavens and a new earth. And we're on the new earth looking towards the new heavens. That's a little different twist on the day of ascension. And uh, I hope that you'll remember that that line between the physical and the spiritual, the Shekinah, the Shemayim, and the things we can touch and see runs right down the middle of each of us. So try to get in touch with that every day. That's the good news for today, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow.